Yes, YouTube, what's happening, guys? I'm just doing another little video here with Scarlett. As you can see, she is just super, super playful today. And she's letting me hang her with another two leg. With a one leg. She's just sitting there and I'm playing around. She'll go on her side. She loves playing. This bird has uh, just come along a tree. Look, just let me pick uh, it up by a belly. By a leg. She is just coming up to nine months, guys. And what a bird she is. You ain't gonna see a playful bird like this one. She's just super playful and she enjoys it. And we have also Poopy trained her. So when we want her to go to poo, we just tell her to go to poo and send her to that perch by there. And she'll do a poop there now. There you go, and good girl. And then she'll come back, or she'll go to that one by there, but not on my bed. That's amazing. Come on, Scarlett. Come on, baby. <whistles> Look at this bird, man. This bird is next level. So, we have just taught her how to do poopy training. So, she knows now not to poo in the bed or poo on us. And ah. it's, um, the best way to do this is to read your bird's body language. Ah. Every 15 minutes normally they do a little poo. Ah. So if every now and again you can take them to a perch where you would like them to go to poo. And put them there and they do a poop and just say ah. and reward them and just say good bird. And then as soon as they finish you bring them back to play with you so they realize what ah. you want done. Is you want them to fly there every time to poo. Now she will hopefully go there when it's time to go poo. Or otherwise, normally every 15 minutes where they do poo, she will hold it in. She will not poo on the floor. So far, guys, she's doing really, really good. I'm just in my cinema room now. I can't put no music on in case I got a copyright strike on it. Apart from that, guys, we got this lockdown come back, come back again. We're on tier four now. Not going out much, so it's more time with the birds, just chilling out, playing with the bird, spending more time with Chico. And we'll do another little video with Chico, guys. As you know, the corona um, is over now uh, for us. Nobody in the family got corona now, so we can chill with Chico a little bit more. We was more worried about him catching or contracting COVID from us, and we did not know what to do, so on, to be on the safe side, my friend who lives in the back in the other room with him was feeding, cleaning, and spending time with Chico. And I was watching him through the windows. I've been there a few days ago and he's doing absolutely great. Hopefully now we should be able to bring Chico back into this room now. If all is well. And we can put the macaw back into Big, Big Avery. Apart from that guys, we're all good. Come in. So this bed here is where I did my back in, and this is where I also I isolated myself from the rest of the family, so they don't get it as well. What are you doing? What are you doing? You like having your belly tickled? You like having your belly tickled? As you can see, she flies around the whole house. She can fly from this cage into this perch here, and from there back to this bed, all around. Scarlet! Yeah, guys, so this poopy train is easy. I think um, most birds, most parrots, you can do this. They just need a branch or somewhere where they go all the time. And just before they go poo, you just want to take them there. And after they're in the poo, you pick them back up. And then every, within 10, 15 minutes, you take them back again. And just encourage them. And they'll get the message. They're really, really intelligent. They're, Parrot species. Come on, Scarlet. Come on. Come on, darling. Good girl. This bird, um, the learning is like next level. She's just learning everything very, very quick. Just have to tell her once or twice and she just picks it all up. It's doing really, really good. Look at all that beautiful color on her, guys. I don't know if this phone, I'm using a phone, so I don't know if it's capturing all that beautiful color. 
This here has depressed me a little bit as well now, where she's damaged a little bit of a wing. So that I don't know if that's due to this cage here, even though it's for a macaw, but I think I can do with a bigger cage for her. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a bigger cage for her. So we don't want any of those feathers to be damaged, do we, Scarlet? Stop stop damaging my clothes. She got this habit of showing me how powerful. High five, high five, do it again, do a high five. Do a high five again. With that feet. No, with that feet. Do a high five. Good girl. Good girl. And any tricks you teach them, um, go over them all the time, guys, so they get um, used to it and reward them. Uh, my reward, the way I reward them, I just give her a little good little cuddle here. I should start getting a clicker trainer and using that, but this is working treat for me. So she's doing it, and then I give it a lot, a lot of love from her. And she lets me touch like, oh, past her face without her getting agitated or anything like that. Right the way down to her eyes, to her beak. I can go inside there and play with her tongue inside there. Inside here like that. She don't mind. Play with this part of the body. Lift her wing up. Go underneath her wings. As you can see, she don't mind any of this. And the reason all this is possible is by doing this every week and doing it nice and gentle so where she's not hurt and just then you scratch at the tail her good. Look now she wants to hold my feet, hold my finger now and climb up. And she goes on her belly. She goes in her belly and she plays on her belly. I uh, just got a message on my phone that my battery is low and it's going to...